don't like the turnovers, but how nice is it to win a game where you do have uh, three turnovers? Almost impossible. I would say almost impossible to be able to win that way. You know, we had a lot of contributions from guys uh, that we normally, you know, that play for us, but don't play, you know, quite as much. And so, uh, proud of that. But we have to take care of it. We got to find a way to turn the football over too. You know, that that's another thing. It's it's hard to play, you know, that way. And and they're playing well. And then third down and everything. They're playing hard. It's just it's hard to play defense with playing three games and getting one turnover. Like you always talk about finding a way to win. You had to turn over to lost some guys to injuries. Is this a case of you guys just figuring out a way to win? I'm proud of those guys that stepped up and, you know, whether it was Breon Borders for a couple plays that they threw at him twice and didn't catch a ball and um, Nick Westbrook going in there and, you know, Jeremy with a, with a huge catch and, you know, obviously he was disappointed with, with maybe a couple plays early in the game. Um, but then came back, you know, Prue popped in there and met, had a huge third down conversion. Could go on and on and on. You know, Ola and, you know, some of these other guys that, you know, played for us and just just proud that they know what to do when, when they go in there, they try to play fast and aggressive. The decision to go for two, go for two when you did. So try to go up two scores, you know, try to, try to make it nine, right? Is that an easy decision there or is that, uh, is that one you had to really think about? Well, you don't have a whole lot of time. You know, I mean, we were thinking about going for it. Was, we had thought that if we scored, we were going to go for two there. The drive up to that five plays, 59 yard, you need the touchdown. How critical was that? Well, we, we, you know, we, we battled, and, and these guys, you know, give them a lot of credit. You know, this is not, uh, it's not an easy team. They don't go away. You know, they, they got great character. Um, very aware of that. You know, we talked about that all week, that they weren't going to go away, and they were going to compete and fight. And so I give our guys credit because, you know, I like to think that that's who we are, too. You talk about for, uh, for Tannehill also, Mike, that, you know, down two or three receivers that he's still able to kind of steer you guys to the win there? Yeah. You know, I mean, he made some plays with his legs today. He made some really huge plays with his legs. And, you know, that four-minute, you know, that four-minute um, play on the edge there for him to, to get the first down, to, to give himself up inbounds, you know, really, really impressive. And, you know, th that's, that's why you win because, you you know, you've planned those and you've talked about them and communicated and then ultimately the players go out and execute uh, on the field. Why was the reason for that? I said, what happened down the stretch to be without Julio Jones? Yeah, I, mean, I just think that as this thing, you know, played out, just trying to manage, you know, where he's at and, you know, understand that what the type of game that we thought the, the end of the game was going to be. Um, you know, and those guys were going in there and trying to, you know, dig safeties out. So we'll keep looking at those guys. And, you know, there's a lot of guys that are, um, you know, going to need some, some, some rest this week. You know, a lot of guys. You know, they played hard, a physical game. And uh, hopefully we can, we can be ready to go when we head up to New York. How important was it that Ola and Landry were able to win off the edge quite a few times and keep wins under duress? I mean, yeah, it'd be great. You know, it's called pass rush. You know I mean, you guys... Go back, you know, you guys, you know, pass rush experts, so you guys should be able to identify that pretty well. Um, it's good to have guys winning. Mike, you talked earlier in the week about still kind of figuring out how to manage, but what kind of went into that today? Unavailable, you know, was there for an emergency. Coach, you know, when Tan makes those runs in the open field, does it scare you when he leads in with the shoulder rather than his leg? I think we have to use great decisions. You know, I think Ryan, you know, he's got to use great decisions. That's what I told him. AJ get hurt on the deep shot? I don't remember when it was. Did Julio suffer something new today? Or, or, or was that it? You know, again, we've been through these with players and their health, um, trying to manage a, a season and the way that the game was going. You know, it felt like that that was best uh, to do. Coach, can you go into a little bit more about just the contribution you said from those guys stepping up, something that you guys preach day in, day out, especially against a division opponent? I mean, whether it's, it's Dane going in there for the first time, Elijah Molden playing, um, Ola, you know, Tory Carter got his first action, um, you know, just some guys that maybe you, know, you hadn't heard of and that aren't household names, but guys that we have confidence in. They're on the roster. We have confidence in them that they can and go out there and, and do their job and execute and, and help us win. And that's gonna it's gonna be from now until you know certainly the end of this season. As long as you know we're here, we're gonna believe in that because 
that's what happens. It's a long season. Things come up. Things happen. Guys are unavailable. Then all of a sudden, you know, they're back in, and then they're they're down. Um, so everybody just has to be ready to go and, and be able to understand the game plan and what's going to be asked of them. Any commonalities on, on the giveaways, Mike, either today or, or overall over the, the three weeks? Uh, we threw it into a, a pep rally, bounced off our shoulder, tried to catch it with our shoulder pads, and then, you know, second guy coming in on, on Nick. So we've got to take care of the football and figure out a way to um, take it away. That, that's the... You know, there's some there's some techniques, there's some decisions that go into these things, and then there's some, you know, some technique that's involved. Like you uh, a long season, obviously, but how important to win, get to two and one, knock them back, and put them in zero three early. Not very important, you know. You know, finally got a little bit of, you know, momentum coming back here from Seattle. Back at home division, you know, can can put some space in between us and them, and the, you know, obviously take a look and see where. You know, Jacksonville and Houston are, but, um, you know, these, these games are difficult. These games are tough against Indianapolis and, you know, give them a lot of credit. But, you know, I felt like our guys were, you know, better in the end. Did you expect to see the today and did that affect uh, any of the preparation? How went that? You know, obviously, you know, he's out there. All right. We just got to be ready for whoever's on their roster. Um, you know, they felt like he could he could go, so. You know, we had prepared for, I guess, all three. You know, we're going to probably do similar stuff. And, you know, they got a couple loose plays, but you know, we got to be better on some screens and some, you know, a few plays. But, you know, I felt like they played hard. I felt like they did a nice job on third down.